You ever go to LAX? I know Jersey Mike's. Before you go to LAX, there's a Jersey Mike's on Century Boulevard. Okay. On the right hand side. Yeah. And there used to be a place that if you went there. By the hotel. By the hotel. You went in there, you said, I want to go to New York tonight. And then get you a flight for a hundred bucks. What? But they treat you like a Puerto Rican. They lose your luggage. They fucking put Spirit you Airlines. It was Spirit Airlines. It was like somebody you bought tickets last minute. Huh. And I would take one of those. But how I would get back in would be by bus. Oh. So I would land in Newark. One of my friends would pick me up. I'd go to his house, take a shower, eat, and then we'd get weed, coke, I'd party, and then the next morning. He dropped me off at Port Authority in New York City. And from there, you could get all around the world on a fucking bus. It'd be fun if you did it with your friends. It would. And I would take a bus all the way to Buffalo. And then my friend from Miami, he was, this is how comedy works. I had a friend in Buffalo. No, I had a friend in Miami who his his, him and his brother were waiters at the improv. Yeah. His one, both good looking white dudes from New York. One sold coke heavy duty, and the other one just snorted coke heavy duty. <laughs> and he ate Chinese food, so I hung out with the one that snorted coke heavy duty. But he dated a Puerto Rican girl, so I would I would start, or, or I would take a flight to Miami and work two weeks in Miami, and then from Miami I would take an Amtrak to Myrtle Beach. And How then, damn, that's a long that's ride fucking, too. That's fucking. That was brutal. Yeah. And then from Myrtle Beach I would go to D.C. I would do Tyson's Corner, Virginia, Bethesda, Maryland, the DC Improv with John X was booking it on individual. Oh, would you take buses to all those places? Buses. This is all be by bus. But the train is so much nicer. Like, it's probably way more expensive. But the tra- train. Train is expensive. It's almost as much as yeah, flying yeah. now. It's crazy. Amtrak, Amtrak is a rip off because I'll tell you why. Yeah, it's one sixty to get on it. That's yeah. for a chair. Really? Oh, you want a seatbelt? Oh, <laughs> that's eight dollars. Yeah. Oh, you want a blanket? That's another twelve. Oh, you don't want to sit next to a Chinese guy? That's another twelve dollars. I don't think that's an option, actually. I don't think, I don't oh, think you want to sit on a chair that reclines? That's another eighteen dollars. Oh, wait a second. The special tonight. Yeah. For dinner. Have you ever been on a on a train? No, because the one time I was going to do it, it was the same as flying. And I'm yeah. Like, Fuck so that. You, here's how a train works. You ready? Yeah. You get to the caboose where they give you food. It's salad, soup, two egg roll appetizer, uh, <laughs> a, a, a main dinner and dessert, and free wine and coffee. So they want 30 bucks for the whole thing. You go over there and you go, listen, what if I don't want the salad, the dessert, or whatever? Can I just get the fucking entree? No. You got to get the whole thing. Yeah. So it was just like a ripoff for me, so I never took the train again. I don't know what he's talking about. There's trains from Boston to New York. That are like those trains that are cool. Yeah, I've done that. Like, uh, like what, 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 what Matt Fulchon did when I worked Providence. He took a train right from Penn Station. That's like the Long those Island trains. Railroad I'm not, type. Don't listen to yeah. him. He don't know nothing about like Amtrak. The, the Amtrak right? like, but that's no. the thing. is that, like Boston to New York is uh, for buses, too. I did that 8,000 right. times. I can't imagine being going. Like, yeah. I even looked. Yeah. I even looked from L.A. to to Boston just once on Greyhound just to see and I think it's like two three days on Greyhound you looked it's like just to see what it was days. there's no express that's such a weird thing to look no no like. you know you have to there stop is, there and is like an express there is an express Greyhound yeah. LA to Boston on a Greyhound there is an express. that's so crazy though four fucking days I'm Jeez. just thinking like a fucking animal oh that sounds like you know who does that Eric Myers you know Eric Myers the little do you guys know him the comic yeah. he's from Florida kind of a scrawny dude super funny guys that's He's terrified to fly so bad. He's an addict, right? But he's sober. But if he flies, it's pushed him off the wagon before, so he's too scared. So he'll take a fucking bus from Florida to L.A. every time, back and forth. You have no idea. It's crazy. You have no idea what it's like to be on a bus. I've taken buses from Philly to New York the longest, like that. Yeah, two, four no, hours, six yeah. hours. I remember one time I went to New York on a Sunday. And my week at Hyenas. Yeah. In Dallas, started on like a fucking Thursday. And I made plans with a friend of mine. We're going to snort coke. We're going to do all these fucking things. And I put away all this money. In Dallas? No, in New York. Oh, so in when New I York. got to New York, I realized I couldn't get a hold of him. He had been at a different coke party from the night before. <laughs> so here I am all day Sunday waiting for him. I checked into a hotel room. I, you know, I, I, I dropped like $80. And I'm like, fuck. You know, Eighty dollars. I don't know what it was, so but I, at that time, this was like this is this is feature money, guys. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. 
No, I'm this saying is, that's a good deal he, for a hotel. Guy, the guy I was going to meet is not even alive anymore. And he died in 99. So this had to be 98. I was oh, making shit. 400 a week then yeah. or something. And I had a week. I, had, I found a, a flight out of Kennedy to Dallas for like 90 bucks. No, yeah. like, no, like 160 or something. But it was a tremendous flight. So I was going to wait the three days. And I'm in the city. I went into the city. I bought some Coke. I had my luggage with me, like my comedy luggage. And what I did was when I landed in the Port Authority, you could put your shit in lockers. So I put my shit in a locker. Wow. I tried to get a hold of a friend of mine. I couldn't get a hold of him. So I did what I usually do. I took a train. I took the eight train uptown. I picked up two grams, two toots. I picked up a couple nickel bags, a couple pe- packs of rolling papers. I picked up a few lighters. I w- took an eight train back to Times Square. I bought some CDs. And I said, you know what? I can either wait till Thursday, pay a bunch of money to stay in a hotel and blow all my money on coke Take with the these bus. guys, or I could take the Greyhound. It was the Express to Dallas. How not bad? I mean, you know what? Sometimes when I fly, you always, everyone always asks if I sleep. I never sleep because I love. I get more work done in a six-hour flight on a plane where no one can bother me and it's completely quiet and dark than I ever do in like two days at my apartment. So if I was on a bus for three days, I'd probably write a whole script. Yeah, I would no, get that's so much shit done. That's why it's not that bad as a comedian. Yeah. When you travel, you're like, when do I need to be there? Thursday. Okay, I got two options. Yeah, I could fucking live there for two days, hand to mouth and live in a budget or just be on a bus for two days. Yeah. It kind of sucks, but. It's just a day and a half. Really. Now they have Wi-Fi on those buses, yeah, too. Yeah, they have Wi-Fi. It's not that bad. They have buses that are pretty pent up. Like, they have the Mexican bus to El Paso. That's a complete different bus. What's a Mexican bus? That's for Mexican people. It's run by Mexican mm-hmm. companies. Like an old school and they bus? they have music on. They have Telemundo. That with sounds TVs. fun. Yeah. Pinatas and they shit. They have Telemundo. Somebody sells tamales on there. I like that. They have that. But they also have the Greyhound, you know? I, I Like I said, I just... I, I had... I had a lot of long trips on Greyhounds. I had a couple sexual. Uh, I cannot imagine contact. meeting a guy on a bus on a bus across country, a Greyhound, and hooking up before we got to the stop. Like I can't even imagine that happening to me. But that would be my favorite story. Ever I had I had I had a hookup on a plane one time at night when I had a girlfriend. No way. I got on a plane and I started making out with this girl on the plane. Next thing you know, I'm fingering in the blanket. <laughs> How did that happen? I have no fucking idea. Were I was you... drunk and hammered from the night before, and so was she. And she was with her friends, and she switched seats to sit next to me. Like, I've met her at the airport. Oh, you met her before you got on the flight? Yeah, like we met at the hotel, I could see at the that. hotel bar. I'm talking to her. I'm 21 at the time. That's amazing. I'm nuts. I met my ex wife at an airport. No way. Yeah, I could meet women at an airport when I was young. I gotta start. I gotta start looking cuter because the at airports the airport. were parties. What, what See, are you twenty talking? years ago, flying was completely different than what it is today in America. Thirty years ago. Yeah, there's no like forty pound pit bull on your flight and seat there, next. There was to you. no animals. There was none of that shit. Uh, uh, security was very lax. I remember having coke in a jacket one time. They told me to take my jacket off. And I remembered that I had the coke in like the inside pocket, like it was like, a, yeah. like I had like a shirt and tie on. Yeah. And the guy was about to go in there, and something made him like stop. And he goes, "All right, go through." And that was it. Why would he check but, your jacket? But planes were different. Back I feel then. like coins or keys. Planes were different back then. Like a red eye in the eighties meant red eyes weren't for decent people. Shut up. No. Really? Red eyes were for degenerates. You didn't turn the lights off on a fucking flight in the 80s and 90s on a fucking red eye. I wish they still have flights. How great no. would it be if they had adult-only flights and that they, were like R-rated? And, the, and, and people knew whoever was drinking. Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? Hey, you like the red title? Then buy him a beer. Next thing you know, I'm buying you a drink on the plane. No way. And next thing you know, the lady I'm sitting next to, she's a fucking boring fuck, so we're going to move up. <laughs> Listen, you might as well move over there because we're going to talk all night. And next thing you know, there'd be three rows. <laughs> nine, you know, there's not 18 people talking. And one guy would say, you got a bump? Yeah, let me do a Shut bump. Shut up. And bro, you have no fucking idea. No I remember way. one time being at an airport, getting delayed in Denver. This is when the last flight to Aspen was 9 o'clock. And getting delayed at an air- at Denver Stapleton Airport and then meeting a guy. And the guy's like, dog, I got powder. 
And me and him, the bars would stay open until two or three. And we're at this bar just bumping. And we kept chasing <laughs> bars. Wait, come on, what bar is open? You got to go to Terminal D's got a bar. <laughs> Shut and up. we had the Coke hidden. And that's the same night I had like 12 ounces of Coke. Because I was going to New York to pick up Coke. And I would bring it to Denver. Then sometimes the flight would get delayed. So I put it in one of those lockers. In the airport. In the airport that would have those lockers. So I put the Coke in there. I'd take a gram or two out so I could bump freely at the bar with, with somebody I'd meet. It's so different now. And then I would go back there. Oh, my God. You could never even find a locker. I remember my flight. One of the best flights I was ever on was the... Listen to me. Guys, listen to me. Lee. Lee is my friend. I love Lee. Lee gave me one of the best compliments he ever gave me. It's, it's, he didn't even know he gave me a backhanded compliment. But it meant the world to me. He said that all the people he did business with, the only one that worked out for him was a guy who went to prison and somebody who kidnapped somebody. That everybody else fell apart. Lee knows how how strong of a mind I have. When I got on the plane, July 1st, 1985, when I got on that plane, I was headed to Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yeah. But because of a funny drunk black dude on the flight, <laughs> That we were drinking with. He talked me into going to Boulder. I went to Boulder. No My way. life is the way it is today because of a drunk I met on a plane that came from row 10 to row 20. Because in those days, you know what I do to you? Like I come back there and hit you and we talk for a little while. Yeah. In those days, you could stand in the aisles with a beer. Yeah. So I could talk to you. Like, what's up, chick? What's I happening? I missed that. That's what I want. What's going on with you and your world looking with your fine ass and shit? <laughs> Let me buy you a cocktail Is and that shit. how you talk? Oh, my God. In those days, I would meet people on planes. No way. So in those days, first class was upstairs. If you watched the movie Midnight Run, first class used to be upstairs. There was an airline that I went on one time that the fuck, there was a pig with an apple in its mouth. When you got on there, that's how strong. No first class way. used to be phenomenal. Perfumes, hand creams in first class, Shut up. in the bathrooms. Yeah, flying has changed dramatically. Wow. But what changed the most was the party aspect of the flight. You know how many fucking flights I got on where 12 people were doing blow and drinking? Shut up. And you're in the middle of the plane. Got, 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 got people moving their hands and shit. <laughs> fucking people giving cocktail weight. What are those stewardesses? $20 yeah. bills. Like, keep bringing the fucking vodkas. Everybody was in on it. No way. Come on.